I am a Pokemon fan. I know, shocker, right? And have been since I was 10. But one of my other big passions in life is music. More precisely, and we're going away to Download Festival, the UK's largest rock and metal festival for its 20th anniversary. Over 120 bands across four stages over four days, with over 100,000 people attending. We'll be camping for five days, taking some packs to open and taking our decks to play some games as we combine our love for music and Pokemon at Download Festival. The car journey was a smooth ride up to Download, which took about four hours, with an hour of that being the crawl up to the parking area, but we kept ourselves pretty entertained. But we finally arrived, and after dragging ourselves and our stuff through the entrance, getting our wristbands, we finally found a great pace to set up camp. Once we had our tent up, we were almost completely surrounded. So we finally got the tent up, mattresses uh, blown up, and we got our sleeping bags out and generally made it feel more like home now, and got our mini like campsite up and going. We're just waiting for my brother to arrive so we can help get his tent up. And uh, yeah, I guess that means the whole festival begins for us now. We can finally breathe a sigh of relief and uh, just enjoy the sunset. We did for Miriam. <laughs> There we go, whatever. <gasps> I got it. Whatever. And just right Le Chomp. Slowpoke. Watro. Katsugiri. School of Olium. We're missing that as not, right? Heracross. The Youngster. And Dini! Woo! <laughs> and it's cup of tea time. After having a cup of tea and still having time to kill before my brother arrived, we decided to wander up to the main village and see what was there. And there were all these wonderful and wacky shops and theme park rides you could imagine at a festival. So many places to get different types of food, but we still had a blast going around all the shops. Ganesh clothing really caught Emily's eye as there was a hoodie like one she used to own when she was 19, but lost years later. And there were loads of funky and colourful hoodies and tops to choose from, and retro style sunglasses too. But Emily had her heart set on this one, and I also picked up a new hoodie with Pikachu sleeping on it, saying, just do it later. Love it. There was also an amazing jewellery shop with all these really cool handmade stainless steel bracelets and rings. But once we explored everything, we headed back to camp to wait for my brother and settle down for the first full day ahead of us. So we survived the first night, it was actually a pretty comfortable sleep considering that I'm in quite a lot of pain in my chest, but apart from that, yeah, it, it was warm enough and it's fairly cool this morning, I think uh, on the phone it said it was like 17 degrees, so it's, uh, it's not too bad, We were, I was hoping for it to be a little bit warmer, but I got the cup of tea going, we're going to have some breakfast, make another trip back to the car, and uh, yeah get on with the day and um, I don't think the bands are on until quite, that we want to see are on until quite late but it's gonna be great either way. We arrived at the arena with the festival in full swing and it was off to the second stage for the first band on our list, Cancer Bats, then back across to the main stage for Ginger. After Ginger, Emily stayed at the main stage to see Hailstorm, while me and my brother went back to the second stage to see Pussifer, which was absolutely amazing. A whole choreographed set with extras in costumes, and on top of that, a great list of songs they performed. 10 out of 10 performance, go check this band out. Meanwhile.
Meeting back up with Emily for Alter Bridge, who always put on a banger, ended on one of our favourite songs, Metalingus. Afterwards, while we waited for Metallica, it was time for another pack opening. No spice from this pack, but Metallica brought the fire with their epic performance. As the day turned to night, the performance kept heating up and we were loving it. Then my mind was blown with probably the highlight of the whole day because Metallica played Orion, a song I never thought I'd ever hear live. What a first day, and we still had another night of Metallica to come. What else would be in store for us over the next three days? So day one was amazing. Unfortunately, my phone died, so I couldn't uh, do any vloggy parts. But now I've got a charge on my phone, I can at least uh, show you what's happening on day two. So <laughs> we we had a great night's sleep, surprisingly, uh, considering it's really quite noisy here. But it's actually a lot a lot quieter than it could be, and uh, the planes flying over, you just get you just uh, white noise it eventually. But yeah, Metallica were fantastic, Pussifer were amazing, I'm sure you've seen some of the footage. But yeah, now we're, we're about to uh, head off very soon for day two. Yeah, let's go! As we headed back to the arena, the heat of the day was at its hottest, being 27 degrees. And the crowds were larger than the day before due to the new campers who came for the three day camping instead of the five. But that didn't deter us. First on the list was Pendulum, who I hadn't seen since my first download festival back in 2009, and they did not disappoint. While in the arena, we met so many epic Pokemon fans showing off their merch and sharing their amazing tattoos of their favourite Pokemon, and just genuinely chatting to them was absolutely amazing. Pokemon fans are truly one of a kind. With hunger starting to set in, Emily had the perfect place to get food, Bunnyman's Chow. 
a hollowed out half loaf of bread filled with chili, choice of both meat or vegan, and a toasted insert on top. And was the tastiest meal I ate the whole download festival. 100% recommend. Tasty. While we finished eating, we watched the start of Architects, then made our way up to the second stage to see Evanescence. So another full day, I'm back at camp now, making myself a cup of tea. Emily is still watching Bring Me The Horizon, which isn't really my cup of tea. So I came back. Um, I'm sure you'll get her opinion in a bit. What did you think about Bring Me The Horizon? It was great. Uh, it's been a pretty good day, to be honest. Not as jam packed as, uh, as the previous day, but I'm pretty sure the other two days have come more for me than, uh, than today will. So I'm really looking forward to it. But yeah, um, time to go to bed, really. <laughs> a fresh new day, and what better way to start than with a cheeky pack opening? Right, we're on to Saturday of download and it is absolutely boiling today. I am grateful because it's not raining and we're not covered in mud like in previous years. So me and John have uh, made uh, a little bit of a uh, work with the heat. We actually had to drag our mattress out of our tent and prop it up against four camping chairs just to try and get a little bit of shade from this absolute heat. Say hi John. Uh, yeah, it's like that today. But we're not disheartened. We've got more music to listen to, and we've got some music to listen to in camp. So we're going to eat lunch, and then we're going to head down to the and see some more music, and open some more Pokemon packs, and see if we can find some more Pokemon Rockers. <laughs> Served were incredible and really took me back to my youth. I wish the set could have been longer. However, I had the privilege of rocking out next to this amazing pokey van. Rock on, my friend. Me and Emily then had to split up so I could go see Coheed and Cambria while Emily went to go and see Placebo. Afterwards, meeting up to find a good place for Metallica. <laughs> We ended up getting a great spot for Metallica and the crowd was packed all the way to the top and we had a blast singing our hearts out as the day turned into night. It was a real privilege to see Metallica twice with two completely unique sets and it really brought me back to my early days as a Metallica fan and even though I may not listen to them as much as I used to, their music is forever ingrained in my memory and this performance really brought it back out for me. What an amazing performance. We were all starting to feel the effects of rocking out in this blistering heat, which reached the high as 30 degrees. But it was time for breakfast and cooking up the last of our food and reminiscing over the last three days. 
Emily was super lucky, as even when the crowds were dispersing after Metallica, she managed to get a Metallica guitar pick. Another one to add to our band pick collection. We then decided to play some games with the winner opening a pack, Gardevoir vs Dialga. The game ended up being super close, but I took the win and got to open up an extra pack. What the hell? Oh my god! <laughs> After the success of that pack opening, it was time to get down to the arena to see Behemoth. We had some time to kill before we saw our next band, so we decided to check out the Download Mega Store. And oh boy was it stacked with all the best download merchandise. If you had the money, you could become the ultimate download fan with everything in here. We had a blast in the Megastore, and wasn't long before we were back in the arena in time to see Ghost. I loved Ghost's stage presentation with all the gothic architectural backdrops and they worked the crowd exceptionally. If you haven't seen Ghost live, they are a must see. And after they finished, we met up with more incredible Poke fans who were dressed up for the Ghost set and kindly shared with us their favourite Pokemon. Scissor! Squirtle! Gengar! Yeah! And now it's time for the final headliner, Slipknot. And this was my fifth time seeing them live. If you'd never seen Slipknot live before, they will never disappoint. However, I did feel that they basically played the same set they did back in 2019, and I was left wanting something fresh from their performance. But now it was time for Last Pack Magic. Arceus, bless our pools. This performance was a lot of fun, and because I'd normally seen them up close, it was a nice change to see everyone jump up on command from a distance and see it in its entirety. It was very impressive. What a way to end the whole festival. <laughs> So we survived another incredible download festival. Overall we had an amazing experience and got to meet some incredible people, new friends and amazing memories, as well as rocking out to our hearts content to some of our favourite bands. We are hugely humbled by the amount of Poke fans we met at the festival, sharing stories and expressing our love for Pokemon and music alike. Music is a passion of expression and the same can be said for our Pokemon hobby too and it was just so amazing to enjoy them both at the same time. Where will our next Pokeventure take us, and how many more amazing people will we meet along the way? 
thanks to everyone for coming along on this download journey and rocking out with us. See you in the next video.